Look at his nonsense. No, 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 those are words, Slinky. We put them together in a certain order to make sentences. And then we use those things called sentences to explain other things. Like, for example, why you are a disingenuous little turd. And why no one, and I do mean no one, takes anything you say seriously. But I guess that if you think words are nonsense, then it does make it a little clearer why you claim to think the Earth is flat and that all space is C G I. Please subscribe. This is off the back of recent videos of mine where I highlight the globe being scientifically impossible. And of course I used globe believers to show how silly the globe is through non-citation of any kind of scientific demonstration. But I made an entire video of scientific demonstrations just for you, Slinky. And I know you saw it because you told me. And you called me champ. Now, admittedly, I'm not sure if that's because I'm your brave little soldier or because you want me to die. Please. I want you help! I want you help! But either way, at least you didn't delete my comment and block me, which apparently is something you like to do to people that leave comments disagreeing with you. Why do that? I don't get it. You ask for these comments, then you delete them. Why? What purpose does it serve? I know you liked my comment. You told me you did, so I'm happy. But what exactly about my comment was it that you liked so much that you decided not to delete it? It was painful. Terribly painful. Well, sorry about that. My intention really isn't to upset flat earthers. I'm just trying to show them why they're wrong. If anything, I want to help people whose combined IQ could be counted using only my fingers. I didn't mean for it to be painful. But that being said, quite often the truth is the most painful thing to hear. Take me for example. I hate it when people tell me how much they love my videos and that I'm funny and good looking and smart and handsome and funny and obviously modest. But as painful as it is for me to hear those things, who am I to argue against the truth? But it was a bitter pill to swallow for the people who could be honest and stand by the simple things. Is that why you believe the earth is flat? Because simple people stand by simple things. Don't put yourself down, Leo. I like you. You're a funny little man. Up there in your ivory tower crane, claiming to think that the earth is flat, when in all reality, you can probably see it isn't from up in the cab. Haven't you ever wondered why you can see so much more when you're up there? Because being up there gives you a much better view over the horizon, which, by the way, we only have because the earth is a globe. But you know that, don't you? But because, again, this channel, which stands by the simple truths, all we're getting served up now is lies and misrepresentations about me. Well, I would never lie about you, Slinky. All I do is say what I see, or in your case, hear. And what I hear is a man who I actually don't think is stupid at all. He claims to believe a lot of stupid things, but probably isn't a stupid man. You drive a big-ass crane. Do you drive a crane? I'm not sure. Yeah? Who cares? The point is, being a crane operator, operating a crane from a cab high above the ground is both stressful and physically demanding. One wrong move and the shit can hit the fan big time. Wait, that's it. All this flat earth nonsense is just a stress reliever. You like to come home from a hard day's work, moving things from here to here, and jump on YouTube to get people all riled up by saying stupid things. You know, like the Howard Stern method. Everyone hates Howard Stern, but he's enormously popular. What do they call him? A, a shock jock, is it? The reason you see so few Globers here is because Leo blocks all of them who try to present arguments. <laughs> Stop it. I feel so special. He didn't block me. We had a lovely old chat. He called me champ, which I'm sure was not in the least bit sarcastic. I think he actually likes me, and it was a term of affection. Or at least I did until he also called me a dum-dum and told me not to bore him anymore with my stupidity. Most likely because he's scared to lose followers. This is the second account I've created just to inform you of this of the censorship that Leo is forcefully applying onto you because my main channel got blocked, which I regularly post highly detailed comments that explain the globe position 
and the lack of flat earth evidence. Well, Max, that's where you went wrong. The last thing any self-respecting flat earther wants is evidence, or at least that's why I think they never provide any for a flat earth. They just don't need it. As long as they can deny the thousands of different ways to demonstrate that the earth is a globe and dismiss hundreds, no, thousands of years of scientific discoveries by saying, nah, -uh, then it's all fine. Evidence is for losers anyway. Well, Max, if you had globe science, surely you would have cited it here, rather than give us this sub story here, mate. He tried to, and if we are to believe Max, you blocked him for doing exactly what you asked him to, you cheeky little monkey. And in my humble opinion, this comment was Max's second mistake. He actually cared enough to make a new account just to tell Slinky that he blocked his other account. Seems like a lot of effort to me and I want no part of it. But what I do want to hear is why you feel the need to block people just because you don't like what they say, Leo. I block liars and misrepresenters. Okay, but by that logic, you would have to block yourself from your own YouTube channel. Because when we had our lovely chat yesterday, you thought I was a liar and a misrepresenter because you said I was a dum-dum for using an argument from 2014 and that you thought it was quite frankly ridiculous. <coughs> Mind you, that might have been my own fault. I did ask you a question that would have required a little bit of thinking on your part. And it wasn't even that hard a question to answer. Unless, of course, your entire worldview relies on fantasy and pantomime. And assuming you are watching this, Leo, and that you just said, oh no it doesn't, allow me to say, oh yes it does. Sorry Americans, just Google it. He's behind you. Boo! And I won't waste my time with storytellers and fantasists that don't have any scientific demonstrations. I link the video I very kindly made especially for Slinky in which I give seven different ways to check the shape of the earth. I'm not going through those again. No way, hose pie. And while we're on the topic of scientific demonstration, where are all yours, Leo? All I've ever seen you do or heard you say is that the earth is flat because science is stupid. Oh, and space is fake. But we are yet to actually see you show us anything. Even though your catchphrase is hashtag demonstrable, are you ever actually gonna demonstrab any Anything? Just a second. Well, I be damned. Demonstrable is just a posh way of saying demonstrate. So when are you going to demonstrate to us that the earth is flat? I mean, you seem so sure it is. I've always found it really confusing that you have a flat earth channel with absolutely no demonstrations that show us stupid people that the earth is flat. Weird. As I've said in the past, I will welcome with open arms anyone who's got scientific demonstrations or honesty in their heart enough so to stand by the things that can be tested and verified by all. But I went to the trouble of making a whole video for you and you didn't welcome me with open arms. You called me stupid and boring. But again, I understand because sometimes if I am trying to listen to somebody talk about something I don't understand, I can get bored as well. And as I say in every video I make about you and other flat earthers, if the earth being flat is something that can be tested and verified by all, why has no flat earther ever done it and shut us up once and for all? You've just proven to yourself here, Max, how silly the globe is through non-citation and all you've got is explanations. Isn't that what a citation is though? Kind of. And don't worry, I know that a citation is a reference to a source, so if you were to cite anything, wouldn't that thing be an explanation? Or else why would you be citing it? And you called me stupid. And I'm not saying that Leo has deleted Max Peter's comments, but I just went looking for them and I couldn't find any. I wanted to ask Max what his original comment was, and guess what? Gone. You want to present arguments? I'm not interested in your arguments, your fantasy stories. But you spend most of this video complaining that stupid globe earthers never present any arguments and now you aren't interested in any of our arguments. Which is it? I'm only interested in scientific demonstrations, which you clearly don't have. And you talk about explain the globe position. I'm not interested in your concept. Concept? No, I don't want to show off, but isn't a concept just an abstract idea? And an abstract idea is an idea that exists in thought, but does not have a physical or concrete existence. It does fit one side of this argument, just not the side you think it does, Slinky. You know full well that there is only one side of this argument, and it only shows us one thing. And that thing is... The Earth being spherical. Exactly. The Earth being spherical. Well done. 
See how easy that was? Don't you feel better now? Well, that has no scientific demonstrations. I don't care. It would be as boring as chatting to a pisshead at the end of the bar, waffling on about utter nonsense. So a bit like your videos then, because that's exactly what you do. You waffle on about absolute nonsense that you really have no excuse for believing if you do because in this modern age we all have so much information at our fingertips which even you could look up if you wanted to and from the point of view of the people that watch your videos and i mean the ones that don't buy into your brand of bs the entirety of your argument is i don't understand therefore it's stupid therefore earth is flat be honest is it fair that leo is blocking all globers i don't block all globers I block on task individuals who cannot display honesty in the comment section. So you're lying, fella. No, in fairness, he hasn't blocked me yet. I just checked. But when you say on task individuals, what exactly do you mean? I think you mean people that try to provide you with what you've asked for. Like I did when I very kindly made a whole video of it. So if the task you set is to provide evidence for a globe earth and then you block people who provide evidence for a globe earth, aren't you doing exactly what you were saying you don't do? And if Max was lying, as you claim he is, wouldn't his comments still be available to be seen and verified by all? <laughs> How do you get to speak for every single globe here? Are you part of some organization here or some group that's communicating behind the scenes on WhatsApp and Discord by any chance? He might well be. And that group is called PAM. People against morons. Now I've got a Discord server myself, which is linked below in the video description. We have some fun over there talking about how really stupid flat earthers are. You should join. Not, not you, Leo. No. Is it fair that he's not giving others a chance to counter his arguments? Mate, if I was hiding the evidence, these scientific practical demonstrations that refute my fundamental claims would be everywhere. Yeah, Max, evidence for globe Earth would be like everywhere, everywhere. You know, in scientific textbooks and in the maths that we can use to calculate things like tides, distances to other planets, at what rate the Earth rotates. A 15 degree per hour drift. Wait a minute. Those things are all there. Slinky, I think I found your problem. Maybe you and other flat earthers didn't know that this information on the world that we live in is so readily available. Which makes it mind blowing that there are a small group of people that think saying nah -uh is all they need to do to convince people that the earth is flat. You wouldn't need to comment in my videos. Well, we do really, don't we? Because it's clear from watching your videos that you are completely ignoring all the information that is out there. And Slinky, there's no shame in not understanding things. There are lots of things I don't understand, like how a grown man can believe such a stupid thing. But these scientific demonstrations that you're hinting at that I'm hiding would be everywhere. Simon Dan's channel everywhere. Oh, what about my channel? I have science on my channel as well. Just because mentioning Dan in a video makes it instantly more popular, that doesn't mean you should leave the rest of us out of this. It does help when you put Dan's face in the thumbnail though, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? But they're not. I've destroyed Simon Dan with practical references. Shut up, you little bed end. Oh, that's so sweet. He thinks he's destroyed the thousands of years of scientific research that Dan and other debunkers used to demonstrate just how silly the whole flat earth argument is. Simon Dan made himself look silly and continues to do so by defending space pantomime production. So I just bear with me a second. I just want to note that down. Space Pantomime Productions. It's got a certain ring to it. I think I may like it more than Tidy Productions. Now in all seriousness, you just did it again there. You never, ever, 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 ever show us anything to back up your argument. I could quite easily start a channel on YouTube where I claim that the sky isn't blue. And I dare say that because I'm such a funny and charismatic, handsome hunk of sexy Welsh meat, that there would be some people that would believe me. But it wouldn't actually make the sky not blue. It doesn't matter how many times you say the earth is flat, Slinky, until you get out of your house and demonstrate that it is, maybe from your crane tower, which would be ideal. Then you have nothing to offer anyone apart from a lot of laughs, which unfortunately will be at you and not with you. Is it fair for his followers to not know this and believe that all Globers just don't know how to respond 
Don't worry, Max. People know that we respond and that we quite often present Slinky with the evidence he so desperately wants to say is fake. And that's the problem. The comments he leaves up are those ones. The ones he calls pantomime and C G R. The ones he deletes are the ones he doesn't understand and therefore can't think of a smart ass answer to get. So rather than make himself look silly, he's a flat earth, he does it all the time. He deletes them to spare himself the embarrassment. Or so he seems to think anyway. Anyone who's coming here presenting evidence or behaving themselves by not straw manning me or misrepresenting me is welcome. I think he means me. I didn't get blocked, just say it. But I did offer him this little tidbit of information. Ferdinand Megalan circumnavigated the Earth, which means he left heading west, continued going west, and ended back where he started. How exactly would that work on a flat Earth? Is what I said. I look forward to being blocked. And his answer was, I saw your video, champ. It was embarrassing. You cited sky observations as scientific demonstrations. Lol. That's incredibly dumb, particularly given the fact that you've got no practicality to back up your sky observations. Are you really that dumb or just on task? W what's a sky claim? I know I mentioned ships going over the horizon. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the sea, not the sky. Oh, hang on, I've got it. I mentioned solar eclipses, the sky, and climbing a tree, which I suppose is heading for the sky. And I mentioned the flight from Perth to Buenos Aires that definitely is in the sky. I mean, none of them are actually my claims. I'm just doing exactly what was asked. I was citing different ways to demonstrate that the Earth is a globe. But the problem is, young Max, most of the people that represent the globe online are dishonest. Come on, this has got to be satire. I mean, how can one guy say with an honest heart that the people that publish videos, compose scientific papers, all of which do exactly what you want, Slinky, demonstrate that the Earth is a globe, be dishonest? Is it because you can see that every single thing that every one of those people says completely destroys everything you claim to believe? Even if they don't realise it, they're so controlled by their ego and their emotions. I am not emotional and I don't have an ego. The hell do you think you're talking to? Sorry. Eh, it's fine, it's not really you at fault. You can't help being a flat earther, I guess. Maybe it's me that's wrong. Perhaps I shouldn't care so much about people making themselves look like complete morons online and embarrassing everyone that cares about them. I just wanted to talk to you about it and maybe help if I can. Not interested in talking, talking to people that think the world is exactly the opposite to what can be tested and verified by all. Well, just be careful out there. Stay away from other flat earthers, and most importantly, don't start talking to yourself in the mirror. Hang on, are you, you're talking about the globe, aren't you? What the hell do you want from us, man? What exactly is it you think we can't do? You're never gonna refute me, Max, because I stand by science that can be tested and verified by all. We'll test it and verify it then, instead of just blocking people and deleting their comments. You muppet! All right, all right, what's this next? But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.